Has someone ever told you you are not like anyone they've ever met? I mean, you're just not like the others, literally. Imagine you had a database of every known species on earth and could not match a single one to your DNA. You'd be in the most literal sense different from all the rest because in the scientific term, this would be considered an alien. These are the colors that come. These are the colors that come. Every creature on Earth, including humans, has ancestors dating back to the beginning. These ancestors have evolved in order to adapt to their environments, creating more diversified species. I think it's cool to think of yourself as a more modified, innovative, 3.0 version of whatever inhabited the lands before you. There are vital reasons for evolution vital stages that make life on this planet sustainable. As the great Charles Darwin theorized in the scientific term, Darwinism, one, evolution is important for natural selection. Species who adapt to reproduce use one another to sustain life. Two, survival of the fittest. Species have learned to run faster, camouflage, fly higher, distract each other. And three, struggle of existence. A lot of animals have gone extinct for struggling to exist and not further adapting to their environments. There are other things such as mutation, genetic recombination, chromosomal abnormalities, and reproductive isolation. But the octopus, on the other hand, has been made exact and has had no evolution over time, which is highly, highly advanced. While our single-celled ancestors were finding land, finding ways to invert exoskeleton, adapting to breathe oxygen while trying to grow arms and legs, point of the matter is it has taken other creatures millions of years to do less than half the things octopuses can. Because octopuses' intelligence are so advanced, scientists believe they may become the next dominant species on planet Earth, much like us humans. A scientist named Dominic Civitilli, a PhD candidate in astrobiology and psychology at the University of Washington stated, the octopus's long stated evolution toward cognitive complexity makes them a very appropriate model for what intelligence might look like if it evolves on a completely different planet. The octopus has nine brains spread through the arms and legs and along with three hearts. The octopus's neurons are not in the central brain like a human. We possess one brain with all of our neurons in one place. Octopus's neurons spread out between the arms and the suckers, which end up having a mind of their own. I mean, Imagine if your arms and fingers could process the world on its own. If you'd like, comment down below and describe what you think that will feel like. Civitilli calls it distributed intelligence. I mean, <laughs> I'm just imagining what it would be like to be an octopus. To name a few of the interesting, intelligent things that they can do. Octopuses are known to collect items in the sea and build their own homes in the ocean, much like how we build them on land. Octopuses can edit their own DNA. They can literally ignore their genetic programming and solve complicated problems, such as camouflaging to resemble other animals and blend into their environment. I totally understand why scientists believe octopuses are aliens. They came out of nowhere, no relatives, as is, highly advanced. But you let me know down in the comments if you believe aliens are among us. 
thank you so much for watching this video and if you learned something new leave a comment tell your friends family neighbors or even your house pet that you just got the 411 from everything animals and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content